So, Starlink representatives were in the country recently. Now, before you go all crazy and excited, they didn't come here for you. Well, not directly anyways, but they came for the Aura Group, which is one of Zimbabwe's Starlink kit resellers. So it turns out Aura is the best performing Starlink distributor on the whole African continent. I was also surprised. So basically, Aura outsold every Starlink reseller on the African continent, including resellers from a big country like Nigeria. I was actually thinking that by now, maybe Portras would have released their Q4 results because that would be an interesting read, but I don't even know if they work with deadlines or they just winging it but anyway i know anytime soon we can expect a report from potras because i would really want to see these numbers if aura can be the biggest reseller on the african continent i wonder how many kids are actually circulating in the country so the starling team also met with the minister of information communication and technology tatenda mavetera who implored the starling team to launch a ground station in the country and uh, thirdly, the issue of the ground station. Uh, we have heard you wanted to establish a ground station in South Africa. And uh, Zimbabwe would really want to also have a ground station being established here. The conversations we had with you earlier on were to do with the point of presence uh, for, for, for Stalin uh, coming here with the point of presence. And yes, considering that now you already have some resellers here in Zimbabwe, we'd be hoping that you having this point of presence here would be very much helpful to us as a country. Which Willard Shoko has been advocating for for a very long time. Now, having a ground station in the country will improve the speed and latencies of the Starlink internet network. Now, the Starlink team also pledged low cost internet packages for marginalized areas, meaning that we may in fact get even cheaper internet packages than the $30 package that is currently there. Now, when and where this will materialize, I have no idea. Now, talking about ground stations, if you're a Starlink user in Southern Africa, you may have noticed that in the past few weeks, Starlink internet speeds have improved and the latencies are now hovering between 30 and 80 milliseconds. This is because Starlink internet traffic is now being routed through the Johannesburg point of presence if you're in Zimbabwe. So Lesotho, Namibia, Angola and South Africa are the only Southern African countries that do not have Starlink internet yet. Now, as for South Africa, with their tiff with Elon, it may even take a longer time. But then again, they have good internet already. Now, I'm actually shocked at the rate that Starlink is building these ground stations. If you remember, uh, I think nine months ago, we started off with the European point of presence. Then we went to the Kenya point of presence. And now we're at the Johannesburg point of presence. And hopefully, Zimbabwe ground station will be launching soon as well. Although personally, I feel that Zimbabwe should have been the first country in Southern Africa to get a ground station. Because of geography, we are the most centrally located nation and we should be the hub for ICT networks and transport. Anyway, that's a story for another day. So that's the update, guys. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.